The difference between high school and college as far as testing is concerned is that in high school a lot of the times there's a lot of rote memorization questions versus in college you're going to have specific application questions. In the class your teacher will go through lots of different pictures and slides and talk to you about this is a very important slide to know, this is a very important slide to know, and sometimes they don't tell you how they're going to incorporate those into the actual questions. I'm going to give you an example from Biology 124, our Intro to Biology Part 2 class. This is coming from the test that talks about the kidney, and in that test you have an hour and 15 minutes total. You have 45 questions, seven of which are very hard application questions. Here's one of the questions you will see on one of your Biology 124 tests potentially. Where would you find the most mitochondria in the functional unit of the kidney? In high school, you might have just been asked, what is the functional unit of the kidney? Hopefully you'll know that that's the nephron. In college, whenever they ask you that question, the definition is written in the question, actually. So it says, where would you find the most mitochondria in the nephron? The nephron, as you know, is made up of several different parts. It starts off with the glomerulus, it moves to the proximal convoluted tubule, down to the loop of Henle, to the distal convoluted tubule, and the collecting duct. All of those are your five choices, A, B, C, D, and E. In this Biology 124 question, it's really imperative that you understood all the different types of molecules moving in and out of all the different parts that I just listed for the nephron, sodium, potassium, etc., as well as the different water flows and whether they're passive or active transport. We also need to talk about the mitochondria. What do mitochondria do? They're the powerhouse of the cell. They make ATP. And what do you need ATP for? you need it for energy and to make things work in the cell and in the body. Combining those two together, where would you find the most mitochondria, i.e. where is the most energy being used in the functional unit of the kidney, the nephron? Well, that's where you're gonna find the most active transport happening. Active transport is very different than passive transport and the active transport uses tons of ATP. Therefore, you're gonna look at that picture that the teacher showed you. You're gonna to have to know where all the active transport is happening, and that answer is the distal convoluted tubule. The reason that question is an application question is because you're having to take two separate bodies of knowledge, the mitochondria and ATP use, as well as the kidney, and put those two together without being told that's what you're gonna to have to do on the test. Studying and cramming the night before the exam to know just basic foundation level is not going to help you whenever you're coming time to force that application upon those questions. 